Our next topic is Achievements of Genetic Engineering Chapter 17 Biotechnology Class 10 Biology Achievements of Genetic Engineering mean which major products we have obtained or we are obtaining by genetic engineering Biogenetic engineering man has made insulin The production of insulin outside of body has been possible only because of genetic engineering This hormone controls glucose in blood and the patients of diabetes need this hormone from outside nowadays patients of diabetes or diabetics are getting insulin which has been prepared or which is being produced by genetic engineering this is one achievement of genetic engineering the second achievement or other achievement of genetic engineering is the production of growth hormone growth hormone was produced using a bacterium called E. coli E mean Ashrishyam Ashrishya coli was used in 1977 to produce growth hormone GH this hormone solves the problem of dwarfism and it is also a major achievement of genetic engineering the third achievement of genetic engineering is the production of a hormone called thymosin Thymosin is a hormone which is effective for brain and lung cancer. The cancer of brain and lung can be resolved by a hormone called thymosin and this hormone is being produced by using genetically modified organisms it is also another achievement of genetic engineering the fourth achievement of genetic engineering is beta endorphin beta endorphin is a natural pain killer produced by brain to relieve the pain but if it is produced in less amount you can get it from pharmacies because it has been and it is nowadays being produced by genetic engineering the fifth achievement of genetic engineering is many types of vaccines like a vaccine for foot and mouth disease in cattle, goats, deer and the vaccines for hepatitis B are also an achievement of genetic engineering. Another achievement, the sixth achievement of genetic engineering are inter Interferons. Interferon means the proteins which are produced when the cells get infected with viruses. The cells infected with viruses, cells infected with viruses 
produce special antiviral proteins which are called interferons these help to kill the viruses and to relieve the viral infections nowadays interferons are being produced by genetic engineering the first interferon was prepared in 1980 the other achievement of genetic engineering is enzyme urokinase Urokinase is an enzyme produced naturally in the human body to dissolve blood clots. When there is more than normal number of platelets in a patient, the person's or patient's blood starts to clot. And the function of urokinase is to dissolve the clots to prevent from the risk of heart attack or other cardiovascular disorders. Nowadays, this enzyme is being produced by genetic engineering, which is another major achievement of genetic engineering. The next achievement of genetic engineering is modification of Or egg cell in humans to treat inherited diseases like hemophilia. Many diseases come from mothers to the babies and the changes of the egg cell has made it possible by genetic engineering to get rid of these inherited diseases like hemophilia and it is another achievement of genetic engineering the next another important achievement of genetic engineering is treating blood diseases treating genetic disorders of blood for example thalassemia sickle cell anemia or leukemia these blood disorders are because of a defective gene by using the technique of genetic engineering this defective gene is removed and an effective gene or proper functioning gene is inserted into the genome of the affected person which is only possible because of genetic engineering Genetic engineering have made some plants to able to fix nitrogen. As you know, plants need most of the plants need bacteria in their roots nodules to fix the nitrogen to get the nitrogen from the air <clears throat> but now genetic engineering has made it possible for plants to fix nitrogen directly from the air they don't need bacteria which has them to store their food which they give to bacteria who give them nitrogen their food is saved and their chances of survival increase such plants which 
fixed nitrogen are usually present in the areas which are deficient in nitrogen.